Good afternoon. My name is Dakota Hall. I teach at Fort Scott Middle School in Fort Scott, Kansas. This is my fourth year teaching and I currently teach physical education and have been doing so for the last three years. I graduated from Pitt State University with my Bachelor's of Science in Education with an emphasis in physical education. After completing college, it was difficult for me to find a job close to home, so I substituted and coached for a year. It was the next year that I got an opportunity to have a full-time teaching position as a special education teacher, and this is what led me to Fort Hay State University. I was hired on as a sixth grade special education teacher, um, put on a provisional license until I received my degree. I taught special education for one year and then moved to being the PE teacher in my building, but I continued my degree at a slower pace. This is my fourth year. I didn't expect to receive the job because I had little experience in the field of special education. I basically had zero knowledge other than an adapted PE class. I was extremely nervous and didn't know what to expect at all. I remember uh, my initial thoughts being that I would work with students who have multiple disabilities or severely intellectually disabled and this made me nervous because I had no idea what to do. I guess my preconceived idea was that if I can't physically see the disability, then this student wouldn't need special education. I was so wrong, and it's almost hard to speak about the preconceived ideas that we have, um, but it's also the way many people still think, and so I think that it's a good learning experience. I soon learned and realized the wide range of disabilities. My first year teaching, I had around 20 students on my caseload and three one-on-one -on -one students that stayed with me throughout the day. The majority of my students were learning disabled, totally different than what I expected. And most of them were very highly functioning students. So my ideas of what special education looked like quickly changed. I saw an individual. I saw love, I saw an athlete, I saw the compassion in my students' eyes, I saw hard workers. My heart started to fill for each of my students. I quickly learned the strengths and weaknesses of each of my students. Some of those days were the most trying and most rewarding days of my life. Another assumption I believe I had was that I would just be the student's teacher and that this was just a job. Um, that quickly changed as I became a role model to several students. I became the male figure that many students were hurting for because their dad wasn't at home. I became a, a believer in what my student could achieve. I became a positive voice in a world of negativity. I became someone who cared. As I reflect on my program at FHSU, I have learned a ton of information. I have learned about the exceptionalities and identifying these and strategies to better assist these students. I have learned about laws and the legal aspects behind being a special education teacher. I have learned about research and the importance of continuing to grow as a profession. I have learned about the technology to assist students with the exceptionalities. I have learned about vocational schools, transition, and post-secondary life. I have learned about diversity and seeing the individual. I have learned about being the leader of a professional program and the many duties this entails. But my first year taught me about love. I believe that is my biggest triumph I take away from my first year teaching and being a special education teacher. I gained a lifelong bond with my three one-on-one -on -one students. All three of them have my heart. 
That is something I don't have in the setting I am in now and something that taking classes can't teach. These students need teachers that care, advocates for their lives and the direction of their dreams. As I move forward with the next step of graduating, I believe I am a transformed man. I plan to stay in the position I am in, but that doesn't mean I don't have the knowledge to better assist my students in the area of physical education. I will be able to better modify my activities to meet the specific needs of my students in the PE classroom. I also believe I will have a better understanding for the students that enter my class each day. As I look forward and project forward and think about some areas that I would like to see changes in, one area that catches me is the stigma that um, special education has and that's also kind of an assumption that I had previously but um, we had a we had a clinic put on um, through our district of a man um, that did capturing kids hearts and this man's a very very high achieving man uh, and he had a disability and and there's tons of professional athletes uh, Jamal Charles uh, a lot of athletes that have disabilities and I could go on and on about the the people that have had a disability um, and I just think that too many people look at special education as a negative instead of a positive um, it needs to be something that we assist students with instead of such a negative. Um, there are a lot of areas in each person's life that where, where they need assistance, and, and that shouldn't be a negative thing. It should be more of a positive. And I would like to see uh, the stigma of special education diminished. I also would like to see people for, for who they are and not, not just the disability. And I believe that goes further than just special education or just having a disability. I think people that should see people for who they are uh, with skin color, um, with religion, uh, gender, uh, look at the person, the individual, and not, and not um, that, that title on them. We, uh, we are all humans. Um, I truly believe that. Um, in the future, I can definitely see myself teaching uh, special education again. Um, it's something that I have a passion for. I, I love the students. Um, I truly believe that it takes a special person to do that and I believe I, I am that person.